Mix 107.9, 80s, 90s now. Colby Calais, Fallen for You, and Mark Dancer, 823. Happy Friday morning. It's the weekend. New movies opening in Columbus Theater. So the Mix Flick Chick, Kelly Gingery, is in the studio. Good morning, Kelly. Hey there. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good. Uh, I am talking to you and getting the podcast set up so we can put this online. But awesome. Uh, You're right. multitasking, yeah. honey. <laughs> You're all in big trouble. <laughs> Me and Buttons. Uh, okay, all right, so we're going to talk about two new movies. Yeah. So let's talk Twilight. Last uh, last night was the midnight showing, and uh, my daughter actually showed up two and a half hours early to get a seat into the midnight showing. Can you believe it? She was at Rave. Mm -hmm. we, gave, uh, we did a midnight showing at Arena Grand last night. Mm -hmm. it, I read in the paper the biggest pre-sale of any movie in history. Like for this, uh, you know, for for opening weekend, people were buying tickets online, and so bigger than Paul Blart Mall Cop. Yeah, <laughs> I forget well, what it beat. Like one of the Star Wars movies, as far as pre sale like biggest of all time. So, no, that I didn't know. That's yeah, awesome. So major, major yes. anticipation. Oh, major, huge. major hype. A lot of people listening have already seen it, which is mm -hmm. kind of a unique thing because usually you see it first in right. the preview. So a lot of people right. saw Midnight Showing. So, what did you think of Twilight New Moon? I liked it. Yeah, I did. Now I'm not a diehard Twihard. That's okay. what they call them, okay. Twilight Hearts, I guess. Right. But, and I haven't read the books, and I know you haven't no. either. I don't know and anything. You... I have two daughters who are way into this, and I don't oh. know anything about have it. Have you ever had them? What's funny is with, when you're with the people that are into it, ask them to describe it to you and to tell you what they love about it. I have it. done that. Isn't it funny? Yeah, I mean, it is. They, they become a different person. Yeah. They are talking about it, and it's it's real to them. And I love that. I am not making fun of these people, because I love that. Because yeah. I love movies. I love being in the mix with these people that are so engrossed in this. Right. You it's know? A, it sounds to me like it's just a fantasy, take you away, kind of a whole other world type of thing. It is. And you know what the, the bottom, if you boil it down to, it's unrequited romance. It's okay. young love. What they keep telling me is, it's your first love. You know, this Bella and Edward... You know, and he's a vampire. They can't really be together. It's like Romeo, Juliet. It's right. all those things. Titanic rolled into one. Okay. And so that's the story that sucks them in. Yeah. No pun intended. <laughs> and and uh, then all the other stuff. You know, so it just happens to have a vampire and a werewolf in it, but it's a it's a love story. Right. All right. So, People who are going to go see this are going to go see it. People yes. who want nothing. Like Mike Tracy, my fiance. Now yes. that I'm a Connecticut, can call her my fiance. So I love fiance that. to be. Uh, she's like, no offense, but I have had my fill of Taylor Swift and the Twilight people. Like, they're just everywhere. So they there are, are people who are just going to stay away and there are people who are going to go. Yes. They're, you know, for, so we're kind of here for the on-the-fence people. And, yes. You know, did, it did what it set out to do. I mean, I know it this did. Edward guy is in it less. Does that, is that it, a problem? Yeah, or because that... the werewolf is in it more, so I like to say there's more bark and less bite. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, and the, the cute, hunky werewolf walk, likes to walk around in the rain with his shirt off. And that got the most swoons from the screening audience. Okay. I mean, seriously, women in the back were like, Oh, I thought, call 911. What? So it's, you know, I, I'm not, obviously, we don't need to tell people the plot right, and stuff, okay. but I liked it. Okay, good. I did. All I right. thought it did what it was supposed to do. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the blind side, and I read the book for this and loved the book. It's an awesome book, and it's based on a true story about a kid from, like, the inner city ghetto of Memphis. Yeah. T terrible, terrible oh. background and upbringing and, and just lost, but he's massive and, uh, Actually, now playing in the NFL, a first-round draft pick, plays for the Baltimore Ravens, Michael Orr. And Very his cool. family took him in and uh, basically gave him a life. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, Sandra Bullock plays the real-life oh. woman, Leanne Tui. So. She's awesome. All right. So the movie version of this I'm kind of pumped about. But yes, I just, you will like I read it. A, okay. Well, because I, I read it's... a terrible review in the dispatch. They didn't like it at all. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. now, see? I, I'm. You know what? It's. I think probably... It, my friend Nick there, who wrote that, probably is being a little cynical because <laughs> it's got a lot of heart. It's uh -huh. touching. It's it's warm and funny. So I know people are gonna. I, I couldn't go to the first screening, and they let just regular regular folk go, not uh -huh. just press. I had my friends that I sent the tickets to, raving about texting me. This wow. is the best movie I've ever seen. Oh my god! So I mean, to to hear I, it was something that causes such you know dichotomy right. of, of feelings. Woo! I'm going crazy here. But what I want to say is. If you love it, it's not all sports. So if you don't like sports and don't like football, don't worry about it. Cause yeah. that, but and if you love Sandra Bullock, go okay. because she is great. Uh -huh. And she so she's two for three. Yeah. She you know the proposal. Oh, that's right. yes. You know all about Steve. This will make you forget that if okay. you saw that. You know she, you're making your money back. Uh -huh. You know she's giving you your money back. So oh it's and the kid the guy that plays uh, Michael Orr yeah. is so touching and so and, and the little kid that plays her son yeah. who it, it, funny scenes. I mean it has funny. It's heart. It's warm. Mm -hmm. If you like that, see, some people are probably like, ugh, 
Sounds yeah. awful. <laughs> you know, I mean, funny heart. You know, they want right. to see something grittier or something. So. Right. Right. But well, I think it'll be, do well. Okay. Yeah, I do. The amazing woman who Sandra Bullock portrays in this movie. Yes. Real life story. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then, thank you very much, Kelly. You're welcome. We will talk with you Tuesday morning for new DVD reviews, and yes. we podcast all the mixed flick chicks reviews. She sees everything and lets us know about it, and you can catch her reviews online anytime at mymix1079.com. Here's Pink, 829, the new Mix 1079. chatted. Okay, let me see if I can catch Ashley. Hey, Ashley, are you there? Yeah. Can we get ODB one more time? Oh, so loud.